Hey everyone, Yoyo Evan here. This isn't really going to be a big video, just a little side project I decided to make in my spare time. But if you guys like this video, maybe I'll do more. Who knows? Anyways, today I'll be doing a review on the Ertl Gold Rail Edward. My very first Gold Rail that I got in the mail not too long ago. For those of you who don't know, Ertl Gold Rail was a line of Shining Time Station toys that were made alongside the original Ertl ones, but these had more detail. They were originally sold in Japan by Bandai under the Bandai text line, which was the same thing as Gold Rail, but with side rods. This one, released in 1993, was generously given to me for free by my good friend Ben Benson 2013. He's a huge Thomas fan, has been featured in many of my videos, and recently got his own Bandai Tex Edward, hence why he sent his Gold Rail one to me. Anyways, enough jibber jabbering, let's get started. First impressions are a must. The box is appealing to the eyes and screams of the 1990s. My only problem with this box, however, is that they use Bandai Text models on the box, which have side rods. The model you actually get, however, doesn't have this. My best guess as to why this is, is because the side rods can become a choking hazard once removed from the model, hence why they were removed from the Ertl Gold Rail release. The box also shows you how the magnetic coupling system works on these engines, which is great, because before seeing any of this stuff in person, I always wondered what the Switch did. And now I know. Unboxing the model is really easy. Just open the flap to the right, pull out the model which is enclosed in a foam strip, remove said foam strip, and there it is. The cosmetics of this model, like most things made by Bandai, are absolutely astonishing. Every detail is there except the side rods as we mentioned earlier. There's a switch on the back of Edward, which when flipped to the right, will enable him to couple to other rolling stock and engines. Flip it to the left, and you can decouple Edward from the train he is pulling. However, this does not affect the functionality of the front coupler, which can swivel from left to right. The rear one, however, is static in order to comply with the mechanism inside. The gold rail engines are slightly bigger and heavier than a typical Ertl engine. The gold rail Edward can easily be moved by hand, and there is barely any interference from the wheels due to the lack of side rods. However, just like the other Ertl tender engines, the tender is permanently connected to the locomotive at all times, likely to reduce manufacturing costs. And that's it! Overall, the Ertl Gold Rail Edward is a great model, and it is very accurate to the original TV series model which I absolutely love. Again, a special thank you goes out to Ben Benson 2013 for sending me this. It's an absolute pleasure to own one, and it is one of the best things he has sent me so far. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, this is Yoyo Evans signing out.